Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. Oh, fucking fuck Woody. Point of having a system if you're just gonna my Jack. What the guy is Jack. Going on? I'm, uh, just gonna... I'm the guy that keeps uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? What did he... What did... Jack, what did you fucking take? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen. Nope. So get the fuck out of my sight. It's bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. <clears throat> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? I'm gonna hit him. Back off, dog. I'm gonna fucking hit him. Want what's mine? My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Oh, Jesus sure fucking Christ. Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just... Oh, you fuck... Nope. Oh, oh. Straight in, motherfucker. Put some pins in your fucking face. Woody? Swear to fucking God. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh shit! Sit the fuck down. Do it. Punch his fucking face in. <laughs> Jam it. I didn't really say fuck you, but that's cool. Oh, god damn it. Choke that motherfucker out. Sit down. Find it sadistic or feeling sadistic. No oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. 
They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Mm. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna cheeky fucking smile. I just took more fucking money. That sick piece of. It's what we want. Shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Oh, here we Those go. girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town, you're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Give Woody a smoke. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie, I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. That the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. I wouldn't like. I, <laughs> he's like in the in the middle of like New York City, carrying a fucking hand at, or a fucking axe. He's getting a cab. Let Woody do his thing. He should have it like glamoured as a cane or some shit. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. You Fucking Bluebeard. She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Can't sing it because of copyright. Thank you, too. <laughs> Thank you, Seems too. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm gonna sh shove my fist through your face. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. Bluebeard's a fucking dick face. <laughs> Finally, I'm gonna punch him in his dick face. Back in the right direction. Good yeah, work, Bigby. I'm clever. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door? Once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Mm, yes. Drunk Buffkin. Don't go, go, go. Far, go. Sheriff. Shut up. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. 
Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> I understand. This piece just Beautiful doesn't response. want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. She had ah, some. yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you uh, like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? Yeah, it makes sense. I, I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? <sighs> Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking nope. for a handout. Just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sherry. Use it to get glamour, Toad. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. <laughs> you happy fucking toad. You better do it. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> I'll be fine. fine. Seriously. I'll deal with it later. I know I should Why are you so fucking pissed? It got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. Guys like the Crooked Man, all they care about is money. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in. Or maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. 